I want to bring in Jill Doherty. She's a Russia expert, a former CNN Moscow bureau chief. Jill, thanks for joining us. Does it make sense that Putin would crack down on so many dissidents uh, but let the Wagner chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, off the hook for his attempted mutiny? Yeah, I think that's a really interesting point because he has gone after, let's call them the liberal opposition. But when it comes to these hardliners, and, you know, Prigozhin is the uh, uber hardliner, he's been very soft. And now who uh, tries to attack the government? It's the hardliner. So it's really pretty ironic. Russia even recently, as you well know, Jill, cracked down on a man whose young daughter drew an anti-war picture at school. Is that right? Yeah, that is. Um, and he had to flee. Uh, it was really terrible. She went into um, a children's home, you know, kind of like an orphan. It was a terrible situation. And there are things like that happening all over Russia among, let's call it, you know, again, the opposition to the war. But I think the danger that Putin has and for years kind of played with fire with these groups that are really extremist. And now everybody has to watch their back. I mean, remember, remember um, Winston Churchill said Russian and Soviet intrigues are kind of like bulldogs fighting under a, a carpet, under a rug. And that's exactly what's going on. We may not know what's going on until we see the bones coming out from under the under the rug. It's, it's pretty brutal. It certainly is. How likely is it, Jill, that uh, Prigozhin could face more punishment down the line, perhaps for so-called financial crimes? Oh, definitely. In fact, Putin raised that yesterday when he said, hey, you know, the government, the Russian government gave him a billion dollars and also another almost billion dollars to his Concord company. So you're talking about $2 billion. And then Putin said, almost as an aside, I hope they didn't steal too much. So, but we will take care of that. That was, I think, the quote. So what I think that means is they could kill him, but that might backfire because he does have some support. He was a, a personality, still is, in Russia. But I think they could go after him and really neuter him by uh, going after him for financial crimes, stick him in prison like they've stuck a lot of people in prison. The Kremlin released video tonight, as you know, Jill, of Vladimir Putin surrounded by cheering supporters, up close, shaking hands. How do you read that in the aftermath of this mutiny? Well, I mean, he's obviously, if that is Putin, he's obviously out there trying to uh, say that the people support him. He's a man of the people. But I will tell you, I was really shocked when I saw that video because, Wolf, well, we know, I mean, the video for months has been Putin at the end of a very long table, afraid of getting germs from other people. And all of a sudden he's you know, hugging and kissing and shaking hands with people in a crowd. It's, it's really kind of crazy. And it was in Dagestan, down by Chechnya, talking about tourism. So it has a certain bizarre quality, but he has to show he's a man of the people at this point. Jill Doherty, always good to get your expertise. Thank you very, very much.